Manchester United players were involved in a dressing room row just two days before they were demolished at Brentford. According to reports from our friends at the Manchester Evening News, Thomas Frank's side battered the 20-time league champions on set after going 4-0 up in the opening 35 minutes. A David De G. Howler set the tone for what was to come after the Spaniard spilled a Josh Dasilva effort into the net. A calamitous display of playing out from the back followed with Matthias Jensen pouncing on former B's midfielder Christian Eriksen before doubling the lead. Then Mee would head in Brentford's third before a sublime counterattack was finished off by Brian Mbumo for the fourth. The humiliating defeat at the GTEC Community Stadium further highlighted the upheaval within United at the moment. With reports of a dressing room row just two days before the Brentford demolition job, Manchester Evening News reports that sources close to some United first-team players say there was a huge dressing room argument at the club's Carrington training complex on Thursday. It is understood that tension simmered between players, although there is no mention of who was involved. While many will focus on United's disastrous start to the season under Ten Hag that has left them bottom of the Premier League table, Brentford are up to third with four points from their opening two fixtures. Although Thomas Frank was unsurprised his side beat United, the Dane was stunned by the scoreline. I'm a little bit speechless and lost for words, in a way, because it's Manchester United, the biggest club in the world, one of the best teams still, they have top players, and we've just beaten them 4 minus 0. Frank told the Brentford club website post-match, and it was fully deserved win. I don't think it was a 4 minus 0 win, but I think it was a fully deserved win. I think I'll understand it a bit more overnight and especially tomorrow. I know how good this team is and I know how good the players are so it's not a huge surprise that we won, but 4 minus 0 is, of course, crazy. It's just a privilege to be part of something when you succeed and everything is going in the right way. That's a fantastic feeling. In other news, Manchester United's players have sent in sauce to the club's hierarchy to make the signings they need to recover from their disastrous start to the season. United are rock bottom of the Premier League after losing Eric Ten Hag's first two games in charge, including Satis Foreman as zero humiliation at Brentford. A core of senior players, including Cristiano Ronaldo, skipper Harry Maguire, Marcus Rashford, Luke Shaw and Bruno Fernandes have told the club hierarchy they need help in the form of new signings before the window closes on September 1st. United's players, despite being culpable themselves with their abject displays on the pitch, feel the club have shown a lack of ambition by failing to address the glaring holes within the current squad. This summer United lost five first-team players, Paul Pogba, Nemanja Matic, Juan Mata, Jesse Lingard and Edinson Cavani but have so far signed just three players in response to those departures. United's summer-long pursuit of Barcelona midfielder Frankie de Jong is showing no signs of reaching a successful conclusion. While there has been general dismay over their decision to push ahead with a cut-price move for Juventus midfielder Adrian Rabiot, despite losing their first two games under Ten Hag, United's players have a positive relationship with their new boss, and feel he has been handicapped by the club's failure to deliver the signings he needs to compete for the top four. Top four challengers, including Tottenham, Chelsea and Arsenal, have all spent significantly more than United this summer on key signings, despite finishing above them last season. United senior players feel the lack of decisive action by the club in the transfer market this summer has left them with little hope of competing for the top four. With another season of mediocrity and underachievement ahead, star player Ronaldo has cut an increasingly dejected figure since returning for the new season and still wants to leave before the window closes. Although United remain adamant he is not for sale, a £20 million move for Rabiot is close to completion and United will listen to offers for their midfielder James Garner, who impressed on loan at Nottingham Forest last season. To fund the transfer, United insist everyone at the club is aligned on the need for new players and are continuing to work on strengthening the squad before the window closes. If you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates. Get all